You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai! Not Beerus! You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video! As the Granola the Survivor arc now begins to exit its climax in nearing the end of the story involving Alec, Granola, Goku, Vegeta, and of course all of the events that have ultimately brought all of our characters to where they are currently in this moment right now, it would only now appear as though with Gas gaining a new power-up and having to now become the strongest, the true so-called strongest within Universe 7, this now places Goku, Vegeta, and Granola in a very difficult position in now squaring off and going head-to-head -head against seemingly some right now who seems to be getting stronger and learning more about themselves and their power as they continue to fight but with gas being where he is by no means is he unbeatable in nature so this now ultimately begs the question who is going to be the individual that's going to be responsible in being the very person to finally be able to take down gas once and for all is it going to be goku is it going to be vegeta or is it going to be granola or perhaps maybe as an extension to the overall story with gas having to fight everybody at the same time will it be all three that will ultimately lead to Gas's downfall and what results for the new so-called strongest in the universe to finally be taken down. Which before we dive any deeper into this conversation, if you just so happen to be new to this channel and have a love for all things Dragon Ball related, including both its anime, manga, and upcoming Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button as well as also clicking on the bell icon that way you guys can stay notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel as well as also giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button button down below if you're not only excited and hyped to see how all of this is going to end but if you're also stoked and ready to see what the upcoming arc following the events of granola are going to be because make no mistake about it the granola the survivor arc is going to end at some point this year which now a lot of us are kind of begging the question how is gas going to be defeated is he going to be defeated as an extension by having goku and vegeta use their full power in stopping him together is granola somehow also going to tap into a deeper power in manifesting that on the surface we don't know and at this point it's kind of hard to tell but because the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie does introduce the idea and concepts of both Goku and Vegeta still being alive after the Granola arc then it's kind of safe to say right now that at least Goku and Vegeta are going to be alive after this arc is over and done with but what about Granola? Is it possible for Granola to give his life as a means in seeing Gas die? Which interestingly enough we saw how strong Gas was and is continuing to get in Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 80 and as we now go into Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 81, I think it's now safe to say that our heroes are going to have to collectively now work together if they ever hope to put an end to this in beating this guy once and for all. Now, there are several avenues in which the story could go in, and one of them, as controversial as it may seem to some, is the avenue of Goku and Vegeta going down the path and using fusion to beat gas, which we are going to be discussing in another video following this one, but for right now, I think it's safe to say that the best avenue they could possibly go in is by introducing the concept of full-powered gas versus full-powered granola and both the duo of Ultra Ego Vegeta and Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, interestingly enough, Mastered Ultra Instinct, the concept of it, had been kept hidden away mostly throughout this entire story, minus the one battle that Goku had against one of Granola's clones in using the power of Ultra Instinct as a proxy to stop him. But ever since that confrontation, we've never seen Ultra Instinct again. Why, right? So I do believe that it's safe to say that as of right now, if they have any hopes or plans of survival, then they're going to have to go all out as a means of fighting for their lives, and that includes using the power of completed Ultra Instinct and by using the power of Ultra Ego. Now granted, even though Vegeta is weakened, Goku is weakened, hell, even Granola is now weakened, having to see strength come through numbers in Dragon Ball Super had actually gone in serving a great purpose for our heroes in not only getting the better of their opponent by using the essence of teamwork to their advantage, but they were ultimately 
able to accomplish a lot by actually working and sticking together versus having to mostly do things on their own. So if by the end of this there were to be some kind of outcome involving our heroes, then in my own opinion, I do think that it will come through the form of teamwork. Now, this conceptual idea of teamwork involving the Sorellian and the Saiyans actually does make a lot of sense because it directly ties into everything Granola remembers in the Saiyans slaughtering his people, and to go from seeing two Saiyans fight one Sorellian in a death battle to now seeing them work together is very symbolic to Granola's growth in actually now seeing with his own two eyes that no, maybe the Saiyans are aren't as bad as he had assumed to be after all, right? Which is also why this upcoming battle featuring Gas and our heroes is that much more important because not only is Gas now at his absolute peak, not only in terms of power, but in terms of his focus, his goals, his mentality, it looks as though now, with Alec kind of bringing Gas back into his own and reminding him of who he is, it's kind of eerily similar to what Caulifla had done to Berserker Kale in convincing her that she not only served the purpose and actually had meaning, but that she was also as an extension Khalifa's sister, similar to what Alec had told Gas, in being the absolute best brother in the entire universe, right? So now we have a big problem on our hands. Gas looks to be healed, he looks to be fully functional, whereas our heroes are all seemingly battle damaged, bloody, face down on the ground, half of them can't even move. So unless they plan on reutilizing the concept of Ultra Ego, unless they plan on reintroducing the elements of Mastered Ultra Instinct, and unless they have Granola actually team up with Goku and Vegeta, then I think it's safe to say that each and every single one of them, Monaito, Goku, Vegeta, Granola, they're all going to die because if you stop and think about it, if Gas truly is the strongest mortal and none of them can do anything to hurt him, let alone even defend themselves, then it's pretty much game, set, match going forward. So, Yui, Vegeta, MUI, Goku, full-powered Granola, that is the key to victory and even then we kind of find ourselves in a very interesting position because let's just say if Goku and Vegeta and Granola all decide to jump gas at once then is Oil going to jump in? Is Maki going to jump in? And it's not as though they're going to make any sort of difference if they did but we don't know what kind of effects they may have in this fight specifically involving Alec as well because this entire time Alec had been acting very shady from the jump ever since arriving on this planet so unless somehow this warrants an instant death by having Granola immediately taking out Alec from the jump then something's got to give involving his character, otherwise, to me, it would have just been a waste of time. Which is also why I think that something more is bound to happen in this upcoming battle, unless they simply want to jump to the end point of the story and getting past everything and moving on to the next arc, which I don't think should happen so quickly because, again, you need to establish what's going to happen with Granola, you need to establish what's going to happen involving Goku and Vegeta, hell, even involving Monaito, is Monaito possibly going to give his life up in saving or at least healing someone? So all of this now comes from the case in point in Gas now becoming the strongest in gaining a new power, in gaining a new form, which a lot of us now really have to go on and put into question, is Gas truly the strongest in being able to not only go on to use his power in a much better way than how he did before, but is now also able to better execute his techniques and being able to use his abilities and weapon crafting skills to a much higher level than what we've seen before, and if he does, then that is going to ultimately spell disaster for our heroes because how how else are they going to counter this guy without using Ultra Ego and or Mastered Ultra Instinct if this individual, i.e. Gas, is able to do things to such an extent? And make no mistake about it, I do firmly believe that Gas now is going to be way more dangerous than how he was before because I do believe that Gas now fully understands the extent of his power and especially with everything that Alec had reminded him of personally reminds me of what Topo did with Jiren. When Topo went on to remind Jiren of who he was and how much he meant to Universe 11 towards the end of the Tournament of Power was when Jiren and then stepped it up against our heroes in giving them a run for their money, so I have no doubt that something similar is happening here, and now that Gas understands what he needs to do, it's basically going to be a do-or-die situation for our heroes because if they don't take the threat seriously, then by the end, they're all going to die, which weirdly enough, as we currently know of, they won't because we do ultimately end up seeing Goku and Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super Super Hero, so if all else by the end of this, we might, hence the word, might actually see someone like maybe even Granada Granola die, but even if that were to be the case and something like that were to happen, then I don't think that Granola will end up dying by the end of this arc unless he somehow gives it his all with Goku and Vegeta in seeing this threat, which is gas, all the way through. But by the end, once it's all said and done, I want to go on ahead and get your thoughts in the comment section below in regards to three specific things. That being number one, which avenue do you think the story is going
going to take in following the conclusion of the Granola the Survivor arc, question number two, is at some point will we see the return of both Ultra Ego and perhaps even maybe Ultra Instinct in working together at the same time to stop gas? And lastly, do you guys believe that perhaps maybe Alec has another trick or plan up his sleeve that he's ultimately going to reveal later on as the story progresses because there's something about Alec in using manipulation tactics, in using gaslighting to kind of persuade his little family into believing what he is saying because I definitely believe that there's something more to what Alec is saying than meets the eye and for him to directly not even get physically involved against anyone raises a lot of questions because what is Alec's true motive in all of this and how strong is Gas going to get as he now begins to tap more into his hidden power in kind of gaining a better understanding as to where he stands on the totem pole so again you guys can expect to find Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 82 on the channel once it is released on February 20th so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so very much for your time if of course you guys are new like I said before then be sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn on all notifications give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below tune back in for more I definitely think that as we're nearing the end that something's got to give here they need to make ultra ego shine they need to reintroduce the concept of ultra instinct and ultimately have that shine as well because thus far I feel as though both powers slash forms have been overshadowed by said events and I do understand why because this is mainly granola's story so until we get more I guess we're gonna have to wait and see so again thank you all so much for tuning back in for this discussion and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video take it easy guys and have a great day Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh -oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I am the biggest Unreal Ed Gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k -k